Hi, my name is Tony Astro, and I'm here to talk about Cultural Intelligence Wheel. This would help you on how to enhance your cultural intelligence in developing relationship to your people um, and people around you and possibly improve relationship and build a better business. So research shows that cultural intelligence is the competence needed to work efficiently, not just in cross-cultural contexts, but around the world, anywhere. Cultural intelligence is something you can develop and the main source of cultural intelligence is exposure to other cultures, be that ethnic, national, or organizational, but also through focused training. You can enhance your intercultural competencies so you don't only learn it the hard way. To do that, we need to break down cultural intelligence into four focus areas. We call that the wheel of cultural intelligence or CQ wheel. First part of the wheel is CQ drive. This is your motivation and confidence to work outside. Um, so you think you can learn anything from being in, in another culture, Stone Age brain, and it tells you that it's much more valuable to be around people like yourself. It's basically, you don't think it can be fun. Uh, or educational and beneficial for you to be around other cultures. So you're probably never going to get any positive results from it. So either change that attitude or forget about working cross-culturally. Altogether, the next part of the CQ will is the CQ knowledge. This is the hard part of the will because it involves learning not only the do's and don'ts, of foreign cultures, but also the deeper values and ideas that distinguish societies, including your own. In a way, people who are high on cultural intelligent knowledge can distinguish between behavior primarily affected by personality or behavior. Um, you might think it is irrelevant, say, if you are having a problem with Pierre, who is French, uh, does it really matter if that issue is because of Pierre's uh, personality or because of his uh, uh, personality problem is a problem? But think about that again. If let's say uh, we replace Pierre with uh, a Filipino who's uh, shown, let's say, still had the same issues and replace him again with uh, um, a Japanese, uh, let's say, Klein, and uh, you might look like your organization have sort of a personality or compatibility problem with parts of French Filipino culture with yet another um, you know Japanese uh, or Russian will only postpone a real solution to the problem the only way to avoid this is having some real factual knowledge about other people's culture so you're better at analyzing and interpreting a situation the correct and unbiased way but this knowledge of course needs to be checked and questioned as as well as part of the CQ strategy is to where you check your assumptions, uh, your knowledge isn't too stereotypical. This is also where you plan your work in other cultures. For instance, knowing that a meeting might take longer in a culture that focuses a lot of relationship building, like the Asian, Japanese, Filipino, you need to plan so you have the time for that last bit of CQ action. This is very important because it doesn't matter if you feel um, no or no plan about cultural intelligence if you don't feel comfortable doing something that might be new to you. So you have to be able to act in a way it doesn't come natural to you without of course challenging your inner core so that you can't recognize yourself striking this balance of CQ. So these are the competencies you need to enforce and develop in yourself to reach your uh, goals, find a motivation, prepare for your encounter that reflects on everything you experience and act smart in the right context. So um, those are just a few tips on using the cultural intelligence wheel to enhance your cultural intelligence. Um, there's more things to this. So uh, just Google cultural intelligence or um, go to fusionmeet.com um send me a pm um or just put a comment on this um, clip appreciate thank you very much until next time have a great run